everyone, what's going on? Zach here, back with another video. I hope everyone is staying safe. It's been a little while since I posted a video, so I wanted to record how I'm able to make myself a hummus wrap. It's a simple snack that I personally like, and I feel like it's pretty easy to make, and also pretty healthy, um, minus these chips. But So what we have here is about four ingredients. The first one is just a wrap. All of these ingredients I got from Trader Joe's. So it's a wrap, shredded carrots, spinach, some spicy hummus, which I love. And I like to add these ghost pepper chips. I just think they're delicious. So I'm gonna start with the wrap. Grab it out and then I'm gonna throw it on the plate right here just so it's easier for me to make. got two together. All right. So I'm just gonna lay this out right here like this. We've got the wrap and then I am gonna grab some of the hummus. And then I'm gonna scoop some of the hummus onto the wrap right here and then just kind of spread it around as like a first layer. Let's see. Are you Stella? <laughs> Alright. So I'm just gonna try and just get a bunch on here. And then once it's off, uh, or once I have enough, I'll just take this off my lap and then spread it around. I personally like a lot of hummus, so I'm gonna give myself a little extra. All right, I think that'll be enough. So this is something that I used to eat like all the time when I lived at my parents' house. It would be just a super simple snack that I personally loved, so. I used to eat these like all the time and I haven't had them for a while. Bree and I were at Trader Joe's the other day and I got the ingredients to make them. So this will be nice to make. So what I also brought is a spoon just for me personally um, with my hand function. It's easier just to use a spoon to kind of push everything around. Kind of just spread it around evenly. Napkin. That's good. <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right, so after we got the tortilla, we got the hummus spread. Now I'm gonna add some of the shredded carrots. I'm just gonna pour a little bit just on the wrap. That's good enough. All right, it's actually perfect. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of spinach on top. Good. It's funny because looking at this right now, this is not something I would have ever eaten when I was a child. But now it's actually something I crave and it's super good, so it's really funny. Yep. What's up, Stella? Do you smell it? So normally you could just have the wrap like this. But for me, I also love these ghost pepper potato chips that are at uh, Trader Joe's. And you can also just put them on the side, but for me, I actually like to put them in the wrap just because it adds a little extra crunch and it's easier for me just to eat everything in one versus grabbing a potato chip on the side. 
which I could do, but I like just adding it into the wrap. So I have some right here. <laughs> Whoa, okay. have a filled day. That's okay. We got Stella. <laughs> she just likes them. Okay. Well, you know what? That happens when you're quadriplegic and don't have hand function, so it's, it wasn't too bad. It could be worse. So I'm just going to put some of these ghost pepper chips on top. There we go. All right. So those is pretty much everything. I will just say those for later. <laughs> uh, all right, so now this is probably the harder, hardest part is wrapping it, but I'm gonna do Okay, so once I have the wrap all made, I usually will grab like a paper towel or a napkin and wrap the bottom half because it's open. So sometimes the food will fall out the bottom. And in order to prevent that, I would just wrap it in something. All right, then once I have it wrapped around the sides, I'll tuck up the bottom. I know it's kind of hard to see, but let's see. All right, so this did not turn out how I had hoped. I know it does not look beautiful. It looks very messy right now, but it's really simple and delicious. I really like it and I consider it somewhat healthy. Yeah, I hope if you guys make it yourself, it turns out a lot better than it did for me, but I wanted to just share this with all of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please comment below if you'd like to see any future videos and have ideas for me, please let me know. Stay safe everyone and I'll see you in my next video.